In this video, you're going to learn how to fix your eyes to make it look like you were staring at the lens the whole time with Veed's AI eye contact correction. Just like right now, I'm not actually looking at the lens, I'm reading a script which saves me so much time. So if you do have a video where you weren't quite looking at the camera or you wanna save time reading script just like I was doing right now, here's how to fix your eye contact after you film the video. And disclaimer, this isn't gonna work if your head is tilted at like a 90 degree angle and it can't pick up your eyes. Your eyes have to be somewhat pointed towards the camera. So to fix our eyesight, we're gonna be using a tool called Veed, which is an online video editor. I've left the link in the description. And basically Veed has a bunch of AI tools that we can use. So when you're on Veed and you've created an account, all you're gonna to wanna to do is just click on create project. And then here we're gonna go and upload our video. So I've got a couple of test videos here. Now I'm just gonna drag and drop it. And once it's finished uploading, all I'm gonna do is just click on the video. And then here we have the AI tools. And I'm just going to select eye contact. And then here, Veed takes a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on the length of your video, to use AI to make it look like they were always pointed at the camera, to make it look like your eyes were always pointed at the camera. So as you can see for this uh, 36 second video, that was done in just a few seconds. And now if I click through right here, I press play of the lens. As you can see, it looks like I'm looking at the camera, but if I toggle this off, I'm actually reading the script off to the side. Now, obviously it's noticeable when you're toggling it on and off, but when you come across this content on social media, just like when you were watching the intro, it wasn't as noticeable. And I'm willing to bet that you've seen some content before that's been using this tool and you didn't actually notice that it was AI. And plus when you add all the other editing, like subtitles and graphics and things like that, you're not even paying attention to the eyes after a while. And now if I go a little further and I do some tests, my head off. So here I'm at roughly a 45 degree angle and as you can see my eyes kind of fix and they're still fixed. Now if I look down it does look a little weird and that's because my eyelids are actually hiding my eyes. So if your eyeballs aren't visible it's going to be hard for the AI to pick it up. Again if I look up because I've got some thin eye slits it struggles to pick it up. But what a lot of people actually do is they read the script on their phone, right? And they'll read the script on the actual screen but they're not looking into the camera lens. So this is a great way to make that difference. If we take a look here you can actually see, right, that I'm not looking at the lens. And it's subtle but if I just toggle this on now I'm looking at the camera lens which is great. And now if I upload my second video, and this time it's in a darker environment, I just wanted to show you what it could be like with some different lighting. I click on eye contact. Again, this video is maybe like 15 to 30 seconds, so it should go very fast. As you can see, my eyes are now fixed. So that's with no lighting. And it almost looks better because it's a little bit darker and it kind of suits the aesthetic of the video. So there you go. And obviously here, this is a talking head video, but if you are out and about and you've got a lot of head movement or you're turning your head, there are gonna be a couple of glitches, but try it out for yourself. The link is in the description and let me know how you get along fixing your eye contact after you've recorded the video, because this saves me a lot of time. 